If you have gotten the PageSpeed Insights recommendation to minimize main thread work, this video is for you today. So first, let's understand what even is main thread work? Well, in order to understand that, we first need to understand what happens when you want to load a page's content. The first thing that happens is the browser makes a request to the server. And then second, the server sends back the requested content. And then third, the browser analyzes the HTML content and builds out the DOM tree, which is the HTML structure. Only after doing this the browser can now render and display the content that you want to see. Now the process of parsing and rendering the code is the browser's main thread. But when the browser encounters render blocking resources that slow down the process, the main thread gets busy and blocked. As a result, the page can't be interactive and it can't respond to the user's interactions. Now in most cases, the issue for a busy main thread is JavaScript. And you can also have a complete overview of how the main thread work is affected by also taking a look at your page speed in Insights report. And what you'll see is that this recommendation is split into seven different sections. That way you can see which category has the most impact on your performance. Now out of these seven different sections, there are three that you can improve the most. Script evaluation, script parsing and compilation, and parse HTML and CSS. Now these sections are related to parsing and executing the code, which is when the main thread gets busy if it encounters any render blocking resources. So now that you know how this works and how it can impact your website, Site, here's five ways to minimize the main thread on your WordPress website. The first option you have is to defer JavaScript files. By deferring the parsing of the JavaScript files, they will only be loaded only after rendering the most relevant content. Deferring JavaScript will specifically address the script parsing and compilation category. Now to do this manually, there are two steps that you need to follow. First, identify the scripts via PageSpeed Insight report. And second, include the defer attribute to each JavaScript file. And if you need an example of the defer attribute, here it is on screen right now. But if you want a faster and simpler way to defer the JavaScript, it is by taking advantage of the load JavaScript deferred feature provided by WP Rocket. The second option here is to remove unused JavaScript and delay JavaScript. By doing this, you'll take care of the script evaluation and the script parsing and compilation categories. Now, if you want to delay JavaScript manually, you can use plugins such as WP Meteor or Flying Scripts. Or you could also use an asset manager plugin to select where to load specific JavaScript files. Some plugins that will help you do that are Gonzalez, Perf Matters, Plugin Organizer, or Asset Cleanup. But for the easiest way to manage your JavaScript, our plugin WP Rocket will help you take care of everything with just a few clicks. Third is to minify JavaScript. The third and last way to manage your JavaScript is through what's known as minification. And by doing this, this will take care of the script evaluation and script parsing and compilation categories. Now, if you don't know, the goal of minifying JavaScript is to make the code lighter and faster. What you will do is you'll reduce the JavaScript file size by removing line breaks, comments, and white spaces. Now, there are some JS minification tools out there like Closure Compiler, Uglify JS2 and JS Compress. But the easiest way to do this if you have no technical knowledge is just to let our plugin WP Rocket do it for you once again in just a few clicks. The fourth option here is to minify CSS. Just like JavaScript, you can also minify your CSS. And it's for the same exact reasons. By minifying the CSS, you'll reduce the code size and you'll make it faster. Now, just as before, there are some manual tools to do this, such as CSS Nano, CSS O, and CSS Minifier. And just like all of our previous examples before, if you don't have any technical knowledge, WP Rocket can also minify your CSS files with just a few clicks. The fifth option here is to defer non-critical CSS. Now, by deferring non-critical CSS, this will take care of the parse HTML and CSS category. Non-critical CSS are the CSS files that are not above the fold and are not needed to render the page. Now, if you want to manually do this, you need to know that deferring non-critical CSS goes hand in hand with inlining CSS, which are the files that need to be loaded as fast as possible. That's why you should identify and inline the critical CSS and the HTML code, which this is something that can be done by using a critical path CSS generator. And then after doing that, you can load the non-critical CSS file asynchronously by applying the following pattern on screen. Now we will leave a link with the post showing you how to do this below just because this is a lot to try and unpack in this video. And as you may have guessed, 
suggest if you want to avoid this technical headache, WRocket can help you out. In the file optimization tab, all you need to do is click on the remove on UCSS option and the plugin will do the rest of the job for you. Now, if you are looking to improve any other PageSpeed Insight messages, check out our fully dedicated playlist right here. Goodbye and have a good day.